So in this video, we're going to use the Creality 3D Scanner to scan my face and make a 3D model of myself. But the face, the body, we'll do that later anyway. <laughs> so once we're in a really good state and we're at a good distance, uh, obviously you can see the screen, how it's moving up and down on the bar there to tell me in a good position. I am just going to slowly have a neutral pose on my face and then just let it record as I move around, trying to gather as much data as possible. <sighs> Try not to blink, Marco. Let's get all your blinks out. Blink, 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 blink. Make sure my hair's out of the way. <laughs> Don't judge me. No shiny head. Okay, let's do this. All right, now let's check how much data we got. That's a pretty good bunch of data. Down here, we're missing quite a bit. Along the nose there, look at that schnozzer. Look at the schnozzer right there. Um, other than that, just underneath the chin. So we're going to redo that. Now, luckily enough, the software is able to pick up where we last left off. So let's do that. Blinks out of the way. And we're going to go chin wise. What's this? Hang on. That's left. That's left. So this part, sorry, just trying to work out. Cool. A little bit of an issue with the eyes, but that's more the reflection off the eyeball, and there's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, but other than that, I'm fairly happy. Let's go complete. Yes. And um, we will remesh this puppy. So let's have a look. Uh, looks like I've got some bad acne. But this is all uh, because of the ring light. So the ring light's probably a bit too bright. But you know what? I actually am going for more on the shape of my face, I think. I think that's what we're going to be trying to grab from here. Because at the end of the day, I kind of want to character create a for texture on there because that's the bit that's going to be on point. But other than that, that's I am very happy with how that has turned out. So from here, going to export it automatically. Now, first things first, let's jump into Blender and bring in our model. So file import obj and then import the model that's automatically being exported thank you very much and then i'm just going to scale it down to a manageable size so scale 0 0.1 0 0.01 there we go and let's make sure we've got the right orientation so i'm just going to press numpad one and that's forward so let's go rotate 90 rotate z 180 okay good job marco and let's just kind of line it up like so. Push this forward. Lovely jubblies. And now because I've had a shape, I don't really have to clean up the mesh, which is awesome. Uh, we can see that we've got this issue with the eyes. Um, but once again, that's because of the glare from the light on my eyeballs. And yeah, I can't pluck out my eyeballs. Just saying. Let's now export file, export OBJ. Save it somewhere. Now over into Character Creator, we're going to open up Headshot V2. Make sure we select on the mesh. First, we've got to import the mesh. So file, import, import, blah, 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 blah. The one that we've got. Nice, that looks a little bit legit. From here, we're gonna go start head generation. Let's move that menu over. And here we can see that now we have to match our points on the Character Creator for mesh to our 3D scan. So for now, I'm just going to get 24 points, auto detection, and hopefully it's just going to implement everything lovely. And we might just need to have to make some minute changes, like that 10, we'll bring that down. Where's our eight? Here it is, you come up to the top. And I'm just going to go around the face and make sure everything's just lining up nicely. Bring that up a little bit. Now I am fairly happy with how that looks but we can go ahead and actually add some extra. So for instance, where my ear is, left click, left click, maybe down where my ears are joining, something like so. And the quality at this stage all depends on obviously how many points you put down. I think that should be sufficed. Now let's jump over into head generation and now we can see what our mesh is looking like. Let's go, I just want to mask my face because that's the main bit that I want to care about. But I'm not too concerned about the texture as we already spoke about. But other than that, that seems like a fairly good representation of my face. If we go through the side profile, 
I am missing a little bit of a lump on the nose and a little bit here, but this is something that we can fix up in post, which is fine. And that's the beauty of doing headshot is that we would now get access to all the shape keys. So from here, let's just go refine that mesh. Let's now go ahead and attach to body. It's going to be a male. Let's go type two because we don't, I don't really want to take the ears. I just want more of that. Uh, the normals from the source mesh, that's fine because I'm not really going to be using these textures anyway. Let's go generate. Let's zoom out and I should have a body there. Nice. Just going to close this up a little bit. Content, sorry, scene. Let's just hide my face and it's not too bad. Um, I think more of a lighting issue at the moment. Let's see if the mouth works. So if I click on the body, I can come up here in the first tab and go open mouth. The mouth mesh could be a little bit better. So we need to give myself some fuller lips because this is a pretty ugly mug. What I'm going to do is just throw some skin on. Let's go into uh, skin overall realistic human skin. Let's go into a normal. Let's throw this guy's skin on from here. I'm going to jump to the headshot shape keys. Let's go down to mouth and start adjusting some of the lips. So we're going to increase the scale on that one. Uh, let's go upper because that's what I'm concerned about at the moment. There we go. That's a little bit better. And we'll bring that back. Let's just close the mouth and see what that looks like a little bit better. Now let's work on the bottom lip. That to me is pretty good. I'm, I'm really happy with that. This is now where we can jump in and start adding in some hair and such. So let's go into hairstyles, hair elements, beards. Um, I did just have a shave specifically for this. Uh, let's go ahead and add everything back on. There we go. Let's go sideburns now. Ooh, let's go thick. Replace, please. Let's go sparse, maybe. Replace. Yeah, nice. Might go stubble and I'm going to add just a little bit extra to it. Lovely. Sparse moustache. Just adding a little bit more extra. Now our hair. Uh, I do maybe just like nice hair like that. So you can see the process from going from the Creality Ferret straight into Character Creator using Headshot 2. Made myself. Uh, what's next? Probably I would like to scan my whole body, but... Um, I wish this one was mine.